Hello, hello! Bomb Fox here. I'm gonna be doing Tired of Rest. Part of the Sojourner achievement. We're almost done. Hey, Maz. Oh. Find her over here. Listener lost. Listener lost. Blast it all. Brennick and I were on our way to Shadowvane Point to conduct a recitation ceremony. We were attacked by scorpids. Now the hauler has a scorpid stinger lodged in its gears, and Brennick wandered off. He said he was going to stretch his legs while I fixed the hauler, but that was a while ago. Need to get the bot moving again. Can you look for him? It is always one thing after another down here. Another guy. Another guy need Brennick. You don't look busy enough. Nope. Oh, my book. What have they done? Listener lost. You don't understand. I was going to leave the Ring Thieves, but I can't now. Not without my book. Why did you want to leave? So many come to me to entrust stories or ask questions. I try to answer well, but I don't really know. I could describe the sun a hundred ways, but to me it's less real than a candle's flame. My stories matter. I know that. I keep memories alive that would otherwise pass into nothing. They're all as much as shadows trickling down the cenotes. I want to see the real thing. To bring back new stories, not just retell old ones. I want my oath to grow, not stagnate. Defragmenting memory. My oath is to be a compiler. I collect and tell the stories of our people. Renick sighs. Is there wisdom in stories told by someone who never lived them? I've never had an adventure. I was, too... I was to overwrite the stories entrusted to me. So I started transcribing them into a book I had here. Each time we returned to Shadowvane Point, I added more. I was going to leave and pass on the book, but Scorpids ransacked it. Please, find the missing pages before the stuff... Before they stuffed them into their nests. Hundred missing pages? Oh, it seems, uh, seems someone's been busy. I keep finding more and more. Too far away. Get over here. Why would the Scorpids take all of these people? It's zero sense. Defragmenting memory. Thousands of stories. Now they're probably lining some animals dead. By the titans, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost these. I can finally leave without failing my oath. Let's not worry her. Right, we better get back to Hamaz. Yes? Or she gets suspicious. Please, don't tell her about any of this. Her duty is to guide and guard me in my role as compiler. If she knew I was planning to leave, I don't know what she would do. I'd probably follow you. Kind of a dick move not to tell her. I'm just. But if she's like, you know, in love with you. Mm. 
It's true. They ever... Renick seems troubled lately, fixating on stories about oaths and journeys. Hope the Shadow Vein res recitation raises his spirits? Let's not worry her. Thank you for bringing him back. He always acts strange when he comes to Shadow Vein Point, but he seems more out of sorts than usual. Readying the recitation. Once a year, Brennick and I take the long road through the ring. We stop at each post, and Brennick tells the residents a story from their past, when they entrusted to him to remember, even when they forgot. It's my duty to ready the ceremony site. Do you come with me? I could use the help. Common costume. I'll slip away after the recitation. It's easy to vanish into a crowd of earthen enjoying a keg of cinder brew. However, I can't be recognized when I leave town. I don't want anyone to stop me, or worse, to think I'm abandoning my oath. Better to just disappear. If you find me a spare set of miner's clothes, I'll be able to get away without being noticed. Maestro. Don't mind me, just coming in here, stealing some clothes. Ask if the miner knows where a spare set of clothes is. I do, but why do you need them? Part of the recitation ceremony. Collect souvenirs. Well, I suppose it's alright as long as take one set. You can find plenty of spares on the top floor of the inn. Sturdy outfit is marked by dozens of precise repairs. Did you find them yet? Thank you. No one should recognize me. Sites over here. They have more pressing concerns here than cleaning. You tidy while I hang the ornaments. Yes, I guess so. How do you even get up here? Oh, I guess there's a ramp. Eve! That's true. Brennick usually seems more excited for a recitation. Thank you. I hope you'll join us for the recitation when the time comes. Gotta tell her. A sip of cider. Cinder? A sip of cinder. Now there's one last thing we need. Wouldn't be a proper recitation ceremony without mead. However, Hearthkeeper Zurich tells me the last couple deliveries of cinder brew haven't arrived. Seems the local flayers in the rumbling wastes have a taste for it and raid the shipments. Here, take a spare keg. See what you can recover from the flares. How many times do I gotta kill these flares? Oh. Let's get summoned. Oh, wait, no.
speed mad. Well, hello. I need to get closer. I'm having a bunch of treasure spawned for Definitely more in the rainy deeps. There's a decent amount that spawn at Hollow Fall too. Thank you. The miners will appreciate this. I hope the flares weren't too much trouble. Ah. One last story. Well, it's time. I'll be holding the recitation at the mine entrance. I'll see you there, though don't feel obligated to stay the whole time. I'll leave my book for Maze to find. She'll take care of it. After the ceremony, I would like to say goodbye properly. Meet me by the bridge outside of town. I'll head there after the recitation. <laughs> Skip recitation. Well, this is it. The last story I'll tell for some time. I don't see Hamas. He doesn't always attend. Titans knows she's heard my stories plenty. Still, I'd hope. But she wouldn't know this would be my last recitation. Why did you want... Oh, he's got a torch. Durger and Kalreg. Jeremiah's nose. Also, that's a depressing ass story. Most of the earth and things are just horribly depressing. Of course, I know Brennick wants to leave. Not half as subtle as he thinks. One last story. I knew Brennick was acting odd, then one of the miners mentioned he'd borrow a spare set of clothes. That and his strange mood, well, it wasn't hard to guess that he planned to leave. I expected him to come this way, though. Seen him? On the road. There's only This is the only road to the elevator. He should have been here by now. Unless he didn't take the road, he wouldn't want to be seen. He has no idea how dangerous the deeps can be. We have to find him.
No. They have been foolish, you dummy. On his own for five minutes to see what happens, at least traveling with him won't be boring. I've been such a fool, so worried over my oath that I forgot Jemez has hers as well. Been at her side longer than either of us can recall. Of course she would understand. If you'd only told me sooner, stone-headed oaf. But if he's set on leaving, he'll need a guide. Not sure he knows how to put one foot in front of the other on his own. His chronicle is already on a rook headed to Gundergaz. He'll take care of his stories, at least until he's had his fill of his own. My oath is, and always was, to care for him. Can't do that if I keep him down here. Thank you for helping him. Aww. At least it ended kind of happy, right? <laughs>